Hi, it's Jan Hal from YouMakeItSimple.com here with another easy DIY sewing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these full aprons that can be made reversible. They have ties, optional pockets, and ties for the back. It takes very minimal fabric and is a fun sewing project. I'll put the pattern link in the description below. The pattern also comes with a child size full apron which is fun for the kids. If you haven't watched my tutorial on how to make the utility half aprons, that's another fun project and an apron that you'll love to wear as well. Make sure you watch the video all the way through because I'm going to show you some great sewing tips that will be helpful for all your sewing projects. I'll also be going over how to apply some trim and other embellishments. And so without any further ado, let's jump right in and go over the items and materials and things that you'll need. The materials and items that you'll need to make your full apron is the pattern downloaded and printed. To make the apron reversible, you can use two pieces of fabric, one and a half yards a piece. If you are using a thicker type fabric like canvas or denim, you'll only need one and a half yards. A pair of fabric scissors, some tape to put the pattern together, a tape measure, some pins, an iron and your ironing board and if you want to add a tag have that handy and some fun trim and embellishments optional of course because of the size of the pattern we're going to put the pattern pieces together which is really easy to do If you're using cotton fabric, it's always a good idea to pre-wash your fabric. Then you'll know how much they're going to shrink if they are going to. Take your pattern and place it on the fold where indicated. And instead of wasting paper on extra sheets of, of paper to print out, you'll just be adding onto this bottom part of the pattern. So from measuring from here to here is 33 inches. So just that I'm getting a square edge, I'm going to move my pattern down to where I clipped the 33 inches. Then I have a guide for that bottom edge. So now I can just use this as my pattern to cut out the other side. So my two apron pieces, now I'm going to cut out an optional pocket and the ties. The neckties and the waist ties are going to be three inches, neckties by 25 inches and the waist ties 40 inches. So to make this easier, I'm just going to use my rotary cutter, optional of course, and cut some three inch strips. Then if you want a pocket on each side, you'll cut out two. If you just want one pocket on one side, just cut out one. Just take the pattern piece and place it on the fold where indicated. So we need two neckties cut to 25 inches or 64 centimeters. Two waist ties cut to 101 centimeters or 40 inches. So I have my ties cut out, my pockets cut out. If you are making a single layer apron, forward to that section of the tutorial where you'll also need to cut out a facing. To sew the apron ties, just fold them in half with right sides together. Sew down the long edge using a quarter inch or a three eighth inch seam allowance and then sew one of the ends closed and leave the other open. So we'll do that for all four pieces. I'm using a straight stitch, just a universal needle, 
and have threaded my machine with a bobbin thread and the thread with the corresponding color of my fabric. Now, just a quick tip is if you want to use cone thread, but you don't have a nifty device like this to use, take a mug or a jar, throw your cone thread inside, then take a paper clip and bend it out and just tape it to the back of your machine. Thread your thread through the loop of the paper clip and it threads through nicely. So just a quick little tip. Clip that corner. Take your turning stick or a pencil, the eraser end of a pencil, and just pull the end that you sewed the, the end closed. Just kind of open that up and then poke your stick there or your pencil and just start pushing that end through. Poke the corners out and just do that for all four pieces. Take your iron and press the seams open. You want to get the, the strap all the way open and in, so you don't have to lick your fingers to get that rolled open. I just like to give it a little shot of steam and that makes it easier to grab with your fingers and roll flat. If you want to keep the straps flat after washing and keep them from bunching up into a little wad, I like to just top stitch a quarter inch from the edge of the seam all the way down. For the pocket, take your pocket piece and we're going to be folding the sides and the bottom over a half inch and pressing in place. Now along the top edge of the pocket, I'm just going to do a rolled hem, which I'm folding it under a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch and pressing. I'll just take it to the sewing machine and sew right along the edge. We're going to be applying the pocket to the apron before we sew the two pieces together. So take your apron piece, fold it in half, and mark that halfway point with the pin. and the halfway point at the bottom with a pin. I'm going to put a pocket on both pieces. And do the same thing with the pocket pieces. Fold it in half and mark the halfway point at the top with a pin. And then measure 15 inches down from the top you can use a pin, or I like to use these erasable markers, erasable pens that disappear when you use a hot iron. I'm going to mark that 15 inch point and also the center point. Just making an X like that. And line up that center of the pocket with the center of the apron. And just make sure that's level. So to make it have two individual pockets, we're going to sew down the center and ideally, this doesn't always work out, but this stitching line of this fabric is right down the center. So I'm not even going to mark it, but if you want to mark it with a, a ruler and a pen, you can do that or you can always use the masking tape method. And that's just taking a piece of masking tape, finding that line stitch that you need and applying that. 
and to make sure that you're sewing down the right side of the tape where the where you want to sew I like to mark it with a pin so I know to sew on this side of the tape instead of that side of the tape I'm going to go to the sewing machine and start from this corner and sew down along the bottom over to the side. And then I'm going to sew down that center to make those individual pockets. Now if you want to add a tag, this is a fun place to add a tag. I'm just going to insert it under the pocket where I want it to be and pin it in place so that when I top stitch, it will be caught in the stitching there. I'm going to change my presser foot over to my quarter inch presser foot. That way I can get closer to the edge. Take a few stitches and then back stitch. Leave your needle down, lift up your presser foot, and pivot to go around those corners. to remove my tape if I've applied it and clip my threads. Now we're ready to add the ties. Find your two short ties which will be the neck ties. Set the others aside for a minute. Place the apron right side facing up. Measure one half inch from the armhole edge on each side. Take the unfinished edge of the tie, let it overhang a half inch, and pin it in place. Then down here on the waist, you're going to measure a half inch down from the armhole. Again, overhang a half inch. Just gather all the ends towards the center. And take the other apron piece so the right sides are facing together. We're going to line up all the edges. You're going to line up those center points. Leave about a six inch opening at the bottom of the apron. It doesn't matter where that's at, just about that much open. So we're just going to sew all the way around, leaving that opening at the bottom. I'm going to change my presser foot back to the regular presser foot so I have a better guide. Find my half inch mark on my sewing machine. So just another tip to get your seam where it needs to be. I'm going to find my half inch mark from my needle and mark it with a piece of masking tape. And it just helps give you a better guideline there. That tape really makes it nice just to have a guideline. Just take care that that strap, that tie is out of the way 
and that you're lining up the edges. So now that I've sewn all the way around, we're going to clip the seams and clip the curves. Obviously just take off that extra tie, clip the corners, and on this curved armhole edge, we're going to make little cut little V's into the fabric, into the seam, making sure that you're not cutting into the seam, but little, just little clips like that. This will help when we turn it inside out, have that curve be nice and smooth. And let's turn it inside out. Stick your hand in there, grab the ties. Take the blunt end of your turning stick and just poke out the corners. We're going to take the iron and give it a good, all the edges a good pressing. So to close off that bottom opening that we left open, fold each piece under a half inch, pin it in place, and then we're going to top stitch all the way around. Just once again, a quarter inch seam allowance. Give it a final pressing. So as you can see, as I iron over those lines that I made with a the marker, they just disappear. So there you have your reversible apron. So cute. Let's go over now how to make one that's not reversible out of thicker fabric. So to make the single layer apron, I have prepared my pocket piece and my ties, just like in the reversible apron. However, I have cut out a facing. We're going to prepare the facing by hemming the bottom edge. So if you can see that this, when it's folded in half, this top, there's it kind of goes on an angle that's going to fit into the arm piece. So to prepare the facing, we're just going to fold the bottom edge over a half inch and press it. And you'll apply the straps the same way. And take the facing piece right side facing down on top. And we're going to go and sew just this portion of the apron. So from the bottom of the facing up to the corner, over the top and then down. Clip the corners and the excess along the top. And then we'll turn that inside out. Pull the ties out. We're just going to press that open. We're going to press all of the edges a quarter of an inch under and then another quarter inch. So we're basically just doing a rolled hem all the way around. Sometimes it's easier just to roll it and sew as you go or you can take time to press it. Take it 
take your waist high. We're just going to tuck it underneath just below the fold of the armhole piece and just inside so that when we top stitch that it will catch and then we'll, I'll show you what we'll do next but I'm just going to clip that in place for now and do the other side. So we're coming just below the folded hem of the armhole piece and fold that over. And I'm just going to start at the bottom corner here and top stitch all the way around. And just a trick to keep the thread from nesting underneath while you're top stitching is just to hold that top thread for the first few stitches. Now I'm going to go back up to the waist tie and now fold it outward towards the outside and top stitch right along the edge here. Now I'm just going to top stitch the bottom of the facing. Now if you want to add your a pocket, this is, you can do that now. I'm going to add a cute stripe pocket to this. If you want to embellish your apron by adding some trim or rickrack or some fun things just to give it a little bit more whimsical look like I like to do to the things that I make, I'm just going to show you real quick how to add this cute pom-pom trim and a row of rickrack. I'm going to place it right along the bottom edge so that when it's on the other side, just the orange pom-poms will show. When you're adding trim to a project, I like to cut it quite a bit longer than the actual product. It's always better to have it a little longer than, than too short. It's a real bummer when you end up being short. So the end of your trim usually will start to fray. And so we're going to just fold that under about a quarter of an inch. You can pin this in place or you can just sew it as you go. I'll put one pin in and then I'll just hold it and arrange it and adjust it as I go. I'm going to sew a straight stitch just along the top edge and then along the bottom edge. I have threaded my machine with an orange top thread. I have put in a white bobbin. And then after I sew that on, I'm going to apply a cute strip of small rickrack right above it. Now I have rolled up the ties and the top upper apron so that it's easier to manage and sew. Now to apply the rickrack, fold the end over like so and we'll just start stitching it straight down the center.
again holding that top thread for the first couple stitches just so it doesn't bunch up on the other side. So I think that turned out really, really cute. You can't see the stitching on the top side and you can't see the stitching on the other side because it's a white thread. So reversible, really cute, just whimsical apron. Something unique, something you don't see every day. The pattern does include a child size apron. And look how cute I have finished this red and green stripe with these green pom-poms and a cute felted sweater heart. So there's a lot of different ways you can embellish your, your aprons or just leave them plain. You can also add a cute applique name at the top. Lots of options. So there you have it simply tied around your neck and once you have it tied you can just throw it over your neck just a simple tie works great and a tie around the waist now you can either just tie a bow in the back or tie it in the front around your waist pockets cute trim and reversible I hope you enjoyed that something even a beginner seamstress can handle if you do want more tips and tricks on sewing, basic sewing skills, be sure to check out my Sew Simple course and subscribe to the channel so that you can stay updated. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day and have fun sewing.